Hey, fellow YouTubers. Um, just want to show you all a quick way that uh, I like to degas my mead. Um, what I have here is a uh, a food uh, food saver, fresh saver. I believe I bought it at Walmart or Kroger or something like that. And as you can see, the round uh, mouth on it there fits perfectly onto the top of the bung that I'm using to uh, seal this. And so as you can see, I've, I've hit it a little bit. This is a mead that uh, uh, is close to being finished here. I've um, just been degassing it on a regular basis here, make sure it's ready to uh, bottle here soon. But I'll show you how effective this is. I'm gonna hit the button here. And it will take a second, but you'll notice, look at those bubbles. You see how rapidly they're coming up here. Instead of going out and spending hundreds of dollars on some of these units that they have, um, I, mean, I mean, you can see how quickly the gas is coming up. Um, you know, I was, I've seen people say that they were using, you know, their food savers, and those units can cost hundreds of dollars. This little unit here costs like ten bucks at Walmart. Um, you can see all the gas that I'm that I'm getting out of it here. Um, you know, so it's it's definitely a good method, um, and as long as you leave it sitting on there like that, you know, you've got your seal. There's no air getting in. Um, you know, so so to me, it seems like it is, it's working pretty well. Um, this mead here is probably about it's a traditional mead. Um, <clears throat> probably looked about have 14 to 16 percent alcohol by volume when it's finished. Um, looking to put it in some nice green bottles, designing the labels and stuff for them now. But uh, I was quite impressed with how how well this works. And as you can see now, you know some of these bubbles, they're dying down here. So I'll just reach up here. I'll hit that for a little bit more. And as you can see, you can see I'm really accelerating there and how quickly it's. You know, some people were worried about using those big expensive food savers saying that uh, it was wearing the motors out and things like that. And I mean, hell, what you pay for one of these. Um, show you all here. It's, some other, it's got this little charging unit right here. You know, you just plug it in and it comes with this for uh, like sealing bags and whatnot. A little contraption there. You know, you just take it and I plug it in overnight, and I can let it, uh, <clears throat> I can let it run like that, doing its thing. Now, normally, I have it covered up, you know, while I'm doing this, but I was just uh, left it uncovered so y'all could see the uh, process here. But uh, I've seen a lot of different methods, you know, people using paddles, people using, you know, devices that cost. I think it's like 90 bucks for that degas air, you know, air compressor degassing unit. Um, I figured, hell, why have somebody spend all that money when it's just as easy to go to Walmart, buy that little food saver unit, and even if you do tear it up, I mean, who cares? You know, I mean, if you, you know, you can replace it for 10, 15 bucks. But you know, I mean, it's effective. I mean, you can still see bubbles coming up there. It's slower now, of course, but you know, I'll let it sit like that, and then I'll come back in here and hit it again um, you know let, let it get up there and you know I'll, especially this last week I want to keep doing that as often as I can to uh, you know get it ready for bottling I don't want to have any bottle bombs going off on me but uh, I'm sure I'll have another video or to uh, probably make a video on uh, bottling the mead I do need to re-rack it off the bench tonight um, you know but you know, I'm trying to get it ready for uh, bottling, hopefully this week, uh, maybe early next week. But uh, you all stay tuned. Of course, if you like my videos, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll try to get some more on here when I can. Thank you.